Welcome, welcome replayers. Today, I'm going to be extending the play I did with hexagons when I made the quilt. I'm, I'm using raw edges this time, doing some slow stitching, which means any stitches really, on various backgrounds, paper, wadding, so you can use them maybe in your fabric journals or in your paper journals. And also I'm going to be doing some more play with the paper in, in the journal too. Just because I've had such fun this week, I couldn't stop. Once I started with the hexagons, I could not stop. <laughs> oh dear. And Replayers, here come the chat, the live chat. Becky, early bird. Oh, I would imagine you are, it's like coffee break time for you now, mid morning coffee break time. Sherry, good morning. So nice to see you. And there's Joni. Happy Monday. Yes, your little girl's having her schooling now, I imagine, Joni. Yes, yes. And there's Jean. Good morning, Jean. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. And there's Anne. Good afternoon, Anne. Really nice to see you. And there's Mel. Mel Joy. Hi, Mel Joy. Another person in the UK, aren't you, Melanie? Melanie's just down the road, aren't you, Melanie? <laughs> You'll be back for a sesh soon won't you no pressure <laughs> no pressure <laughs> there's patty oh patty hi come on in patty i've got a little envelope for you we weren't able to connect with the dresses last week but don't worry we'll get there <laughs> kimberly good morning good morning here's our resident gardener kimberly <laughs> and janet good morning janet's going to have a coffee and um, do some knitting, I would imagine, in the background. Yes, yeah, I hope that it's not as stressful this Monday as it was for you last week. You had that appointment thing going on, didn't you? <clears throat> and there's Cheryl. Good morning, Cheryl. One day a sesh. That's what we call them. We call them a sesh. <laughs> and then and then, we're, and then um, Melanie will say, oh, I think I'll go shopping. And then you just go to the shelves. <laughs> and go shopping that'll be fun <laughs> no pressure though things you know things happen when they happen don't they Melanie yeah <laughs> so we're vintage enough as we found out from the patchwork book to know these things now <laughs> so good afternoon so nice to see you oh and then from Sue in, in England Right up to Canada, to Abigail in Canada. So nice to see you, Abigail. Come on in. I would imagine you're surrounded by beautiful colour leaves. And Janet Burgess is sat by her window looking at the autumn leaves, I would imagine. <laughs> Gail, good morning. I know Mondays is a busy day for you, but you'll be keeping us in the background. Back to the old. Oh, Cheryl. Oh, you have a nice coffee and a relax. And oh dear, what a year. What a year you've had, Cheryl. What a year. Mm. It was, bless you. I don't know whether it's sorted out, Janet. There's Pam. And all the way down in Australia, there's Pam. She's had her lovely Monday and she's resting in the evening now. I love our worldwide community. Good morning, Jasper. Good morning. Oh, Sue says she's slow stitching big acorns today. Oh, fun, fun. Mm. Here comes Anne. And Anne, I loved what you were doing in your stream yesterday, writing that down. Mm, lovely. You were making, what were you making? Sample bits and pieces like um like a snippet roll really wasn't it <laughs> yeah <laughs> a soul sister with happy bell wasn't it <laughs> that was lovely Anne. yeah yeah mm. you're doing crochet ah yes 
for a Christmas gift. Oh, how lovely. Yes. Mm. Oh, you're in the Channel Islands. Oh, Anne, Anne H. Let me write that down because it, when you write things down, oh, how lovely. Now, if you don't know where the Channel, Island, Channel Islands is, to look that up on a map. Wonderful, wonderful. Welcome, welcome. I'll show you. Remind me later, Anne, and I'll, I'll catch you all up with what I've been doing with my crochet Christmas blanket. I was doing that yesterday. Mm. You, you, you tried to make the hexagons, but your mind said no. Cheryl, you do what makes you happy. Sometimes it's like that, isn't it? Yes. And here is, mm, it's dark and cool in San Francisco. Hi, Sue. Hi, Sue. And there's lovely Carol. Come on in, Carol. You've got your rainbow mouse there, have you, as company? <laughs> Da, good morning, Da. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. And Malaya. Hi, Malaya. So nice to see you. Oh, I do understand what you're going through. Yeah, you shared in your video. Yes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah, it's not easy, is it? Sometimes it comes little pickles. Come on, come on in. Happy Monday. <laughs> Gather round, take a seat. There's plenty seats at the table, aren't there, Melanie? <laughs> Come on in. What I did, Cheryl, I just went on Google Images and I got this and it printed out. So that's the size I had and cut it out. I don't know whether you have access to a printer. We've worked out that mine works now. It was user error. Mm. And Little Pickles loves to come in with a quote for the day. I love that. You're getting us off to a positive start. To live a creative, lo creative life, we must lose the fear of being wrong. Oh, I love that. To live a creative life. I love that. We must lose fear being wrong so I'm just writing that down I love that thank you thank you for that yes and in our in our art even in our coloring books where you think you're meant to be in the lines you know yeah dare to be wrong Janet says so true mm. Aren't there so many lovely people, Pam, from all around the world? And there's Stephanie G. Oh, Stephanie showed me a picture of her dog on Messenger. I'm trying to think what your little doggy's name is now. It's a lovely name. It's something to do with Frozen. Is it Elsa? Elsa, that's right. I didn't look. I had my eyes closed. <laughs> There's Julia. Oh, come on in, Julia. Oh, so nice to see you. Come on in, you come. So if that makes it easier to do the hexagons, but you could do square patchwork or not. Do nothing at all. So I did, I've been doing my ones with the edges, paper piecing. But then I thought. Let's do some slow stitching. <laughs> you don't stay. No one's going to put you in a box or stay in the lines. No one puts little pickles in the corner. Absolutely. Definitely. <laughs> Dare to be different. Definitely. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, yeah, so raw edging and slow stitching. Love it. Because, <laughs> for reference, Jasper, <laughs> no right or wrong with slow stitching. Do the stitches that you know. They can be these lovely little seed stitches. Look at that. I love that. You can see on the back. It's just all oh, ad hoc. Just uh, there's Ma Marty. Good morning. I didn't say good morning to you. I saw the trolley. This is what I do sometimes. This is what I do when Ben comes into the chat. I see it, register it, 
And then I go, oh, <laughs> oh dear. Oh, yeah. They, it, he had a lovely time, Dar. He really did. He came back with stories and, oh, let me tell you. I'll show you what I'm doing. And then as I'm sewing, I will tell you some of Ben's stories. Yeah. Oh, Susan has a quilt top that her great grandmother pieced together entirely out of hexagons. And it's called, I've been in the wonderful comments below the video where we all, most of us decided, not all of us decided that we were quite vintage. Um, wow. 1930s hexagons. It's called Grandma's Garden. That is that is what an heirloom, Susan. There's Jennifer. Jennifer, you are here. Isn't that isn't that incredible? <laughs> That's lovely. Jennifer's been so busy. Um, I'm just gonna just do that there. Um, you've been so busy. You had a wall knock through yesterday, didn't you? And you've had other storms come through, and your your darling little duck. Some chickens haven't been well. F Grandma's flower garden. Thank you, Becky. I think that's a lovely name for these. Lovely name. Hi, Peter. Nice to see you. Come on in. Mm. So, yes, this just free. And I did some slow stitching or just on the back of deli paper. I didn't even use pins for that. I tacked them loosely down with a little bit of glue, tiny bit, and then slow stitch. So now this, this one, you can, you can glue it or stitch it onto fabric, use it as a pocket. It just opens it up for you. Here's Janice. Good morning, Janice. Janice is getting ready for work. The ultimate multitasker enters the room. <laughs> Janice is dropping links. It's Monday already. Let's just take a breath. <sighs> yes, blanket hellos. You can't say hello to everybody. No, no. Mm. You're in luck mode, Jasper. Very sensible. Resting or getting on with morning chores. So I've, I've got this on batting here, or as we like to call it, wadding. And I'm just going to cut that round there. So, yes, raw edges, that helps to do slow stitching ones. Who I don't know, some of you have got fabric journals and it would be good on the sole vessels that Carol has been making. Just makes it that little bit more doable. Oh, did did your washer not arrive the other day? Oh gosh, you didn't even do one load and it made an awful noise. Oh, Becky, that's that's really stressful. That's life admin. Becky has just dropped a wonderful little video this morning on her beautiful, beautifully simple, stress-free Inktobers. And you don't have to do it for October. You could do it for any time. I love it. I will leave a link. So I'm just going to cut this wadding. This is what I was sitting doing yesterday afternoon. I did find making the English paper piecing, I did find that relaxing. But it's always just lovely to do a little bit of slow stitching because it, doesn't matter about the size of the stitches or what they're like. There's Freddie. <laughs> He's chilled. He's got the right idea. I know, just chilling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it arrived broken. Yeah. That that is it sometimes machines have an inherent 
fold, don't they? So I'm going to put, these were really easy to make. Oh, can you see I made these smaller? I did find the pattern in my book, but you'd be able to Google them. And they don't have to join as, it's not as fiddly when you do them in slow stitching. You can see them behind there in all their glory. <laughs> mm. There's an Emma link. Oh, what's the Emma link? Did I miss that? I'm going to join these together. If they don't join very well, I can always go snip, snip, snip. I'm going to put my glasses on and we're just going to, of course, yes, it's under warranty, but it's still a hassle, isn't it? Mm. You can't, gens can't stay locked. Oh, are they creating lots of dust if they're knocking a wall through? Yeah. Thanks, Patty. Thank you, Patty. Patty, um, check your Facebook Messenger. I did send you a message on there. Let me know if you got it, and then we can swap addresses so I can send you this little, little, little happy mail I've got here from last week. Mm. Good afternoon, Barbara. Mm. Oh, you've been watching the news. I know you've been watching the news. Well, gosh, yes, yes. Isn't it wonderful that we can leave politics at the door when we come to be creative with our lovely creative friends? I know, Barbara. Oh, dear. I'm doing a blanket stitch around here, but... You do what stitch you can do. I, might, I think I might change. No, I won't change my mind because I was going to say it will be easier to do and chat with you. He probably, do you know, Peter, though, I think he knows, he really knows the rhythm and the routine. Yes, he probably does think I'm talking to myself. <laughs> he doesn't judge, though. <laughs> Isn't that the wonderful thing about animals? They don't judge. There's Karen. Good, good evening, Karen. So nice to see you. Mm. He is, he's dreaming. He's dreaming of puddles. We've had torrential, we've had sunshine, and then you have to take your coat off. And then we've had torrential showers and winds. And he's been in puddles. I think. Um, I've got lots of dog towels and a couple of blankets that I put on furniture and they're all muddy and dirty. <laughs> Don has all the judgment. Oh dear. Oh dear. What is she like? Oh, it's, there's Kathy. Good morning, Kathy. Come on. Come and sit down for a while with your coffee. Are you in your chair knitting? You're knitting, you're, you're knitting hats. I think it's for some charity. No, you're knitting dishcloths. That's right. Mm. Oh gosh. You, you, oh, your washing machine was broken for four weeks. Did you have to go to the laundrette? Yeah, it's washing day today. Mm. Terry Rowland, a scrappy quilter. Last homely house Kate shared. Oh, um, thank you for the link there. We love scrappy qu um, quilts. Did it, did it have raw edges? The scrappy quilt. I, I can look it up. Don't worry. Mm. Oh, lovely! I will have to. I will have to look at that. I will need to thread my needle in a minute. But I'm making a little pin cushion. I remember making it, making one in the paper piecing when I was when I was a teenager. So let me let me thread my needle again. I will have to get my handy dandy needle threader. Mm. I bet you are tired of laundry. No, Janet, not raw edges. No, not a carbon type of scrap. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to see that. Yes, I love that sort of thing. Yes. 
I love this needle threader. Kat sent me a little parcel of them. And you just put the needle through there. Of course, I didn't even know how to do that to start with. It took me a while to work that out. <laughs> but now it's not so much of a struggle. Mm. Oh, good job she's got you, Karen, to bring her washing to. <laughs> mm. Oh, you're going to, oh, you're going to post, you're going to post on Facebook, the open wall. Gosh, you've had a lot done this year because you've had the, you had the, and then you pull it through. Oh, ta-da, I did it. I'm still new with a needle threader. It became imperative for me to have one of these. Mm. Oh, how lovely. Oh, Carol, darling, I don't want to pressurise you. Do you want me to make your mod so you can pop links in too? I don't know. Yeah, let me, let me do that. Yes. <laughs> oh, so I'm just going to go round here. But I picked something quite relaxing to do so we can sit and have our Monday morning chat. If you just come in, little pickles entered the chat, as she is known to do with a wonderful start to the week, a positive quote. You'll like this one, Kathy. Uh, where did I write it down? To live a creative life, we must lose the fear of being wrong. Isn't that amazing? Hmm. Or oh, Marty put it in. Thank you. There's no pressure um, at all. <laughs> I know, and especially if you're in the States, it, you're, you're, it's early for you. Hmm. Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. We don't know we need them, do we, until the glasses. Oh, I know. Um, it's so funny. Um, the comments on that video where I was doing the paper piece. Oh, so funny. Lots of people, lots of you said, oh, you're vintage, just like me. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, you have lots going on, Jens. I know, I know. Never any pressure. I'm just glad that you popped in. But again, never any pressure. We know you're there and we do think about you too. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's totally ignore Marty at Janet's today. I know, I know. Oh, it's my fear. It is. And I, I go back and listen um try and read the chat but i couldn't find where um i couldn't find at all where patty put her email in I, sometimes i go back and look at the chat on replay but it's not all there patty did you find me on facebook uh, my message do you we'll get there we're determined to get there i'm just doing a blanket stitch around here <laughs> Mm. Oh, Marty is only teasing us, aren't you? <laughs> She's only teasing. <laughs> so what have I been... Oh, yes. So what I was thinking of today, that because we had Thrive as one of our quotes last week, didn't we? And... In the comments. No, it wasn't. It was um it was Sylvia did the prompt page and I printed it off. I've only got a little black and white printer, but I printed it off on here and it's got a little poem. I really will need my glasses for this. Irene, so nice to see you. Oh, oh. Irene, so nice to see you. Oh, lovely. And thank you. Thank you for words of encouragement. And in the States, you'll be coming up to your Thanksgiving soon. And I think that is a wonderful time, isn't it, to be thankful and to 
thank others. So I appreciate that. There's Linda. Good morning, Linda. Hi, Ben. Someone's saying Ben. Is it totally, totally ignore Ben Day? Oh, there you are. Hi, everyone. Hi, Ben. Haven't told any of your stories yet. What about the, the story, Ben, where he's probably gone, he's probably popped in and gone. What about the little story, Ben, where you, the little baby gorilla, and if it's a little male gorilla, and then it went on its little chest like this, didn't it? Just like copying its dad. So amazing. So amazing. Oh, I said to Ben, what food did he miss? And what, you know, what was he looking forward to? And he said, mac and cheese. I said, oh, we haven't got that. We had that yesterday. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know whether you've got any favourite stories to share with us, Ben. Or have you popped in and gone already? <laughs> That's what he does. Everybody's saying hi to you. <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, what was I, unless Ben comes in chatting and telling us some of his favourite stories or some of the favourite things he saw. He saw the monkeys as well. <laughs> Had to hike, was it 17 miles or 17 kilometres to see the... <laughs> I know, Cheryl. <laughs> Quite though. <laughs> Peter's keeping Ben company in chat today. Yes. <laughs> Let me read this to you. Mm. Yeah, all over the world. <laughs> yes, he went to the mountain gorillas. Yes, the mountain gorillas. Yes, yes. Up, uh, up, uh, yes. Because they're the, the reserve that they're in. When we say reserve, it's not like a zoo. He was working, Barbara. <laughs> it, it, it's it's vast in it, its conservation area, and people live there. And and it, it uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Ben. You'd probably say, Mom, let's get everything wrong. It spans over three countries, I do believe this national park that they were in. I can't remember. I can't remember now. I, I'm always looking at, just in case someone's messaging me about the stream, <laughs> but they're not. Yeah, amazing opportunity for him. Yeah. Maybe back again in at the end of November, so we'll see. <laughs> right, what was I saying? Yes, Sylvia did this collage with the prompts. And she had a little, it's very tiny writing because I've printed it out. Let me try and read it. My mission in life is not to merely to survive, but to thrive. And to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humour and some style. My mission in life is not merely to survive but to thrive and to do so with, I don't know what that word is. Is it passion or perseverance? I can't read it. I'll, I'll look it up later. Some compassion, some humour and some style. Isn't that amazing? And that quote was from Maya Angelo. So, I, I mean, I just love it when people share things on what they're making or in the comments it's just so so helpful there's Barbara <laughs> yes the rest of the crew little Colin is is safely in a packaged in a box I'm trying to find the right clock mender we can't just send him to any clock maker can we <laughs> Tammy, good to see you. Come on in, come on in. So nice to see you. If you've just come in, I'm slow stitching with raw edged hexagons, just not for a quilt this time, but just for a little pin cushion or for embellishments for our, our journals. This was on paper. So then what I'm going to do with this pin cushion is 
when it's all sewn up. I've got my little scripts and scraps here. Let me show you. Aren't they wonderful? And these are great for stuffing. Yeah, absolutely, Dar. And, and a lot of them mend, say they mend antique clocks, whereas, yes, dearest Colin. Oh, M Maya Angelou was a very wise woman. Well, I love that, Janice. Thank you. I, I'm going to look that up. I love this. We learn so much, don't we? One thing leads to another. I will look her up. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, I know, Barbara. It's, it's, it is vintage, bought by my parents, probably in the 70s or 80s. But of course, I think clock, the serious clock men repairers they deal in antiques and he's got my dad used to nurse little colin the cuckoo clock i don't know whether you've ever seen colin the cuckoo clock if you're new let me just go and get him bless him dear little thing then remembers him then wanted me to bring him home i mean can't be i can't i won't open him but he is here he is, all the way from the Black, Black Forest. Yeah, the Black Forest, yeah. But he's got plastic parts and things, so I think some clock makers may, you know, but he's got sentimental value. That's the thing, isn't it? Mm. Yes, I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so, Becky. I really am. I'm determined. I'll find somewhere. So he's all wrapped up there and I'm determined to ring around. I did go and find her. If you, if, if you chop these up, it doesn't get lumpy. Plus, it's very therapeutic to cut up scraps. Yeah. Yes, the repair shop. They would, if I sent it to the repair shop, they would mend it lovingly. Oh, if you haven't watched it, is it on UK Gold? Or what, what channels do you watch in the States with the, oh, the repair shops? Gorgeous. Has you in tears. You bought yours in Germany. Yeah. Oh, they say it's not worth it. Of course, because it's just plastic. He's got, he's held together inside with paper clips because my dad was very good at that sort of thing. And then what you'll do is stuff it with, with this, some more, go, go all round and you will have a nice little hexagon pin cushion. But it probably, because you're slow stitching it, and it's raw edge. You haven't got that hassle of the paper piecing. So I hope that sort of helps. Mm. I know that, yes, this is what, yes, around where my parents lived, there would be antique restorers, but they, yes, they, they would probably look down their nose at um, a little fella like um, Colin. We'll find, we'll find a way. I am determined. He's part of the family, isn't he? <laughs> and deserves the treatment. Mm. Yes, of course. The uh, Another famous thing <laughs> is Black Forest Gatto. Or as they, up the north, my, my relatives, um, what <laughs> he used to say, can I have some of that Gattox? <laughs> Oh dear, black foot. That's what I think that's how my granny used to say it. Because it was a thing, wasn't it, in the 70s, early 80s, to have black forest gatto. <laughs> there we are. And so that's the English paper piecing, maybe made a bit more simple. Try it, see, see what you think. And then the other thing I've been doing is playing in my journal and I 
oh, just it, it's so relaxing. Oh, and quite a few people in the comments said they had um, a punch of hexagons. So happy days, happy days. But it was just lovely. Mm. It was a posh dessert in the in the seventies, wasn't it? And then you used to have uh, what did we used to have for starters, Barbara? Prawn cocktail. Yes, yes. <laughs> Two little pickles. <laughs> I'm not sure, little pickles. They were very um straight from the cotton mill factories, that accent, I think, little pickles. <laughs> and they used to shout a lot as well because they had to speak uh, up against the clatter of all the spools going round. You don't speak like that at all. <laughs> but anyway, I think that accents are wonderful. We have in the States, you have lots of accents. And of course, over here we do. Mm. Oh, melon ginger. I went to, um, it was a restaurant. I, I see, seem to remember it was in Windsor. And I, I had melon and I'd never had it before. This is when I was a child. And they, Put it in a dish and half a melon. And I thought, oh, how exotic. It was exotic. And uh, what's Joni saying? Mm. Oh, going to get a package, Joan. How exciting. <laughs> so, what was I saying? Oh, yes, melon. And I, they had a sugar sprinkler. Can you believe we used to put sugar on a melon back in the day? ridiculous isn't it never do that now so they had like a, a glass with the silver on the top and then you sugar shake and I shook my the sugar on my melon and they hadn't put the top on properly and it went like that and I started to cry <laughs> it wasn't my fault though <laughs> mm. right so what have I been doing yes I I did some more because I made the envelope, didn't I, on the video? And I, I've done some more in my journal just to document. And I'll probably, I don't want to cover this page up though, because look at this lovely coffee dyed paper from Janet. I'm leaving that page. Isn't that gorgeous paper? And I think, yeah, to document it, I'm going to pop. One of these in just this hexy there and I might put the template and I won't put the template in yet because I'm going to be making some more of the paper piecing ones aren't I so I can use that and I put some on paper mm. you put sugar on cucumber <laughs> was a trend on TikTok a while ago. No. <laughs> well, I never. Oh, dear. We used to put, I was a fussy eater. My mum used to make me cheese and apple sandwiches. Why would you need sugar on an apple, a dessert apple? It's ridiculous, isn't it? So, yes, I put those on paper and I'm going to make myself here a little pocket. So I'm going to do that, like that. Yeah, so I, I've been just having such, such fun with um, the hexagons. I just didn't want to stop. <laughs> oh dear. So now fold it over. Let me just fold that over like that like so grapefruit spoons oh yes they're a little bit more pointy aren't they grapefruit spoons yes <laughs> there's cat good morning cat oh I, if i'm missing people as they as they come in can you say hi again because i was just peering down at my journal here and as luck would have it, I had some amazing happy mail from Aunt Bex. Let me show you. Your 
someone put salt on melon. Really? Hi, Laurie. <laughs> oh, well, each to his own, isn't it? Mm. I know. Oh, I never say what the boys do or don't like. I, I you, you can't keep up with things, can you? I know, I know. P is pickles persnickety? <laughs> That's a lovely word, isn't it? <laughs> Look what our Bex gave me. Came in the post at the same time. And magazines, quilting magazines to look through with the different patterns on and what you would need and how to cut the cut the squares. And isn't that isn't that lovely? So I am going to keep that in my in my journal. I've made my, oh, your grandfather did too. Well, as um, as my dad would have said in a northern accent, what, what did he used to say? There's not so weird as folk. <laughs> Everybody's different, aren't they? There we are. Is that gluey? So that quilting is going to go in there. That was lovely. I loved that. So... Oh, Kat, you said you had a hexagon cutter, so you're going to be punching some papers, maybe, and making a, a collage. If you would like a treat, I've got it written down here. I'm going to leave a link to Kat's latest collage in, in a mini composition book. Wonderful. Love it, love it, layer upon layer, mm, wonderful. Now, I'm not sure if Sylvia's here today. It's Sylvia, it's your cup of tea. <laughs> Follow the link. Mm. Right, so what else, what else have I got to show you in my journal this week? Oh yes, I had some happy mail from, from Beth, isn't it wonderful? Look at this. It's the one for my journal, one for my prompt page, ha a happy mail envelopes. Just right for cozy times. You can imagine what might be in there some pumpkin latte or something. Nice cup of tea. <laughs> oh dear, coffees. And these are, I'm going to call these ones coffees, and then I can call. The, these ones, cups of tea, can't I? Gorgeous. Thank you, Beth. So pleased. I have popped those in there, ready to ready to use, ready to rumble. When I put things in my journal, like this, I, I use the staples and tape. I'm probably not as careful as, well, I think, oh, it's just for me. And I just love to. I got this to put in my journal here. Got some tape, and there's this app. Oh, and I I went straight on the Heathrow Airport and put his, Ben's flight number in. And on on the app there was this little plane, and it was yellow, and it, it you could see it moving up the east coast of Africa, and then. See, he was there, and we we are we are here. Where are we? We are sort of there. I could see his plane, and when I noticed it, he was over Egypt, and then he was over Greece. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, I better get in the car. But when he got to Greece, I thought, I'm going to get in the car because it's going to take me a long time to travel seventeen miles to the airport. <laughs> Oh, your granddad came from Ireland and as a small boy landed and he was a war orphan and he kept, yeah, he kept a thick New England accent his whole life. Oh, yes, listening to different accents is, is, is wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, wonderful.
Oh, yes, yeah, it was my dad. My dad would say that, yeah. So I'm just going to put that in. So this is the way I sort of, I don't do a lot of journaling. I'm more pictorial, really. But I save little bits and pieces of paper and the boys say, oh, do you want this bit of paper or that piece of paper? <laughs> oh, yeah, it figures that they do. I know. Oh, some people have got an app and you point it up to the sky and you can tell we're sitting having coffee at Lloyd Park with Freddie on a Saturday morning. And he points it up to the sky and say, the other day, he said, it was some somewhere in the States. I can't remember quite where it was. It wasn't Miami. I can't, it, it was somewhere in the States. It said all that aeroplane's coming over to Heathrow. And just by, yeah, this app's amazing. Mm. Cinnamon toast every now and then. Oh, yes. We don't have that. But because I'm very influenced. Oh, I can't put that down. So do you call that fairy toast sometimes? Am I right? I looked up how to make that. It's like we have that eggy bread the boys did, that savoury, but you're, 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 you put cinnamon and sugar in. Love it. Love it. Mm. Oh, I have cinnamon toast every evening, says Kyle. How wonderful. How wonderful dessert. Mm. Mm. I know, Dar. Sounds delicious. I've got some tape here that I've had for a long time by air. When I was making then a scrapbook, probably. There you go. I just put that in there like that. Because I don't usually show you how I journal, do I? <laughs> and this is my happy mail from Becky. And look at Becky. has got some stickers. I put some in my journal. And these are her Barb Owen lost relative faces. Aren't they amazing? Aren't they lovely? And I put one up there in the tab and one of her beautiful cards. <laughs> I love what she does. Mm. Oh, butter and then brown sugar. Mmm, delicious. You keep a jar with mixed cinnamon and sugar just for your toast. Am I right that you call it fairy, fairy toast, fairy bread, or is that something different? Mm. Now we're all hungry. Kimberly. Do you know when we get together, we're always um, talking like that, aren't we? Oh, there's Patty loves it too. Oh, I love anything cinnamon. I wasn't brought up with it. There was normally a little cinnamon in the Christmas cake or mince meat for the mince pies at Christmas. But yes, very influenced by our friends over the pond now, aren't we, um, English, the, the British um, contingency here. <laughs> Mm. Cinnamon twists and cinnamon knot cookies. Oh, that sounds lovely. Mm. Do you know I don't think we have monk fruit here? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I know. Me too, little pickles. <laughs> so then, yeah, the lost relatives, what you do? Because I've just started, I've just found Barbo in through Becky. And I watched the other day when Barb was doing her lost relatives and you you do paint first and then you go in and doodle. So I got Becky's envelope and I put a face down and some hair and I'm going to, oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm going to come in and doodle my face, the do doodle a face on there. <laughs> Oh, they're drop paper girls. Oh, oh, they're wonderful. Drop paper girls. They are wonderful. Isn't it amazing? Painty paper, drop paper. That's the, the paper you have underneath when you're painting. Mm. You doodle faces when you're on the phone. Oh, and that, that's the sort of thing, the more you practice, the more, yes, yes. So I think I've shown you everything in there now from this week. I don't want to miss anybody out. Saving tea bags. Wonderful, Art Cat. How just putting 
the tea bag over your vintage ephemera um, gesso does add that vintage feel, doesn't it? Mm. Got the tea leaves everywhere as well. Mm. Mm. Monkey bread is also yummy, made with biscuits, brown sugar and cinnamon. Monkey bread. Oh, do you know, it's not that familiar, but I think I've asked before and someone said that and I looked it up. I wonder whether that's like our bread and butter pudding that it calls, it might be. <laughs> so I'm going, to put, I'm going to put that there, over there. Oh, I'm going to add one more thing to show you. I was printing I had these given to me three of these little they were perfume bottles like a little stamp and I was listening to it was I put her down here I'm going to put a link Moss Cottage lovely Helen and she was doing she was making journal and ephemera and she had book pages and she was stamping off. She was she was making them in bulk. But I just I was saying the other day in someone's chat, I just don't seem to be able to I had all the intentions, but I literally just made one. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, so yes, it it sounds something that we all do, but sometimes you need a reminder because the video was barely finished. I, I came downstairs and I thought. Oh, I'm going to print on book pages. So I've got some things ready for putting in on Happy Mouth, for putting in my journal. Let me show you what it's like when I print it off. I'm sure there's probably, this is not, oh, not a tutorial, this is probably not the best way to stamping <laughs> oh dear it's monkey bread season again i'm going to i've got it written down i'm going to be looking it up <laughs> fall is the season for all things sweet and cinnamony so i'm going to pop that down on there press it down oh yes oh beautiful how lovely. Oh, but I know what I did. Oh, it's coming back to me now. What I did, I'm going to get it on the non shiny side. I got my deli paper and I printed it on deli paper. Mm. You need to get your oven ordered. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you have, do you, you don't have enough, do you cook with, um, what do you call those? Air fryer instead. Mm. Apple butter. Mm. I think that's probably like a lemon curd. We call it lemon curd, but we call it, yeah, butter. Mm. <laughs> Anything really, Joni. That's the season for anything. <laughs> oh, apple butter. I haven't had apple butter. How delicious. I do I used to make lemon curd with the children, which I think is lemon butter. Mm. Limping along with the air fryer, Janice. Yeah, especially if you want to, but I was gonna say casseroles. I, I would imagine you've got a, what you call a crock pot slow cooker as well, but no, you need the oven. Can you do baking in you know, or is it too hot? The um, air fryer. Mm. Yeah, fruit cakes and things that you need to cook slowly. So I'll just show you what I did to get this. Let me there we are. Let me show you. That's the well, that's what I came down ran down the stairs and made a little perfume bottle like that. So I, I printed it off onto deli paper. Oh, Candy, so good to see you too. I do hope that foot of yours is getting better. Yeah, 
stamp out. Bless you. Come on in. Come on in and put that foot up. Yes. Stamp out onto a napkin or tissue paper. Just that. I just want that square. There. So disciplined. I put the lid on so it doesn't. And cut that out. I'm going to use my fabric scissors. I'm such a good girl. And then cut out the square like this. And I know it sounds like, yep. Yeah. This is something we've all done before, but it's not lovely to have the reminder. I know Kathy loves to stamp on fabric, don't you? It's such a nice reminder to make some ephemera, isn't it? Mm. Uh, darling, nice to see you. Nice to see you, darling. Come in, darling. Uh, yes, come on in. Come on in. I see you at best quite often, don't I? We have a little chat. So get, that's the front. Get it to the back and stick on this little piece of napkin. I've got, it's got a nice small pattern there. There we are. And it looks like the bottle has like little flat, there it is stuck on the back and it looks like the, the flowers around the outside. So yeah. Yeah, Janice, yeah, it keeps the it keeps the kitchen cool, yes, in the summer. Oh, thanks, Jen. Oh, you Jen, you make lovely journals and bits and pieces. This might be an idea for you, might you? Yes. <laughs> for your journals. Now I have this hold on somewhere it came in a pack of three i've given one away in happy mail already i've kept one somewhere i don't need three so pop a number in if you want to and i will send one in happy mail i've got this here um patty w did you manage to find um the messing on messenger if not, I can put my uh, my address address email address in again, and then I got my little paint set out. Do you mind me using your paints? No. Okay. Thank you. Approve <laughs> the flow. That's it. Come come in with some numbers. Oh, hi, Juanita. So nice to see you. Numbers between one and hundred, and we're going to go for numbers that are on or under the one that I choose are pop something I'm glad you've got some numbers in for, for yourself pop in some numbers for other people that aren't here or this is a lovely time for me to say hi to the people that are gently listening in the background so nice to see you. They're so nice that you're here. I think being a gentle listener is a wonderful thing. Practicing self care. I love that. Mm. Oh, I'm getting carried away with this. Thank you, Junior dear. Yes. I'm just making, I don't like to waste any of the paint when it's wet, so I'm just making some little hearts there. <laughs> Lovely. You didn't replace it. Oh, you bought the standalone. Yeah, oven. Yes. Mm. I'm in. Was it? Oh, do you know I didn't? Oh, in comments. Did you put it in comments? I, I listened through all the video again and I couldn't see it in the comments in the video. Was it in the comments underneath the video? Oh, how interesting. I didn't, I didn't see. 
oh, how, goodness, how annoying. How, what, what should we do? Should I put my email address in again here? And then hopefully we can. Make contact, Patty. I did look, but I couldn't find it. Ah, oh, it must be me not looking properly. I'll leave that open so it dries properly. Let's do a random number, shall we, before we lose them. There's Penny. Good morning, Penny. Good morning. Come right in. Come right in. Penny, do you want to pop a number in, Penny? Pop a number in. We're just doing a little draw for one of my little little envelopes <laughs> so nice to see you you've come just at the right time we're just going to have a nice cup of tea someone knows the time over there just saying right um random number generator are we in are we in oh, well done well done there's Penny, Penny from Florida. Hi, Penny. Oh, and we've got Penny, Penny Pit Pudge as well. We love our pennies. <laughs> Come on in. Mm. Sophia. Oh. Oh, yes, yours arrived because it only had to come to England, didn't it? It was in England. Didn't go international. Ah, oh, Sophia, good. Let me, um, yes, you said it arrived. Well done. 52, 52. Who's on or nearest under? 52. And I just just a little envelope, isn't it? Um yeah. Pennies from heaven we're singing today. Yes, it's we're raining pennies from heaven. <laughs> oh, we do love our pennies. Yes. <laughs> There's Marilyn. Oh, so nice to see you, Marilyn. So nice to see you. I trust you had a good night's rest. Oh, so nice to see you. And there's just the little one I made today. I put a little gold top on it and I might come in and colour the flowers in a bit more later. But that's that's my bulk making of print um prints. <laughs> Oh dear, I'll pop one of those in the happy mail too. Da. So I will send some happy mail to Da. That's lovely. This is just a way of me um, remembering who to send happy mail to. <laughs> it's lovely. Right. Oh, should I do the comments one now? Or oh, I may as well while I've got the number up. Hold on, wait. let me just um between these one and nine these are the people in the comments that sometimes people can't get to the chat so they rely on artful esther there we are i will contact artful esther and let patty dear i'm sorry that we've had such trouble i i've had trouble finding your email address let me put mine in here see if you can grab it and then i will then I will um, delete that comment. There we are. Grab that email address um, and see if, yes, see if we, we can make contact. Mm. Uh, happy Mail brings happiness. Yeah, it, yes, yeah, Susan, it does. It, 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 uh, uh, happy Mails. And mine are very thin and light, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely. So I will be sending some happy mail to Artful Dar as well. And ah, oh, thank you for all the comments. And oh, we have little chats, don't we? And we come. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Let's. Should we have a? He's waiting, isn't he? he? Definitely knows. He definitely knows the change in the time of the stream. Do you think it's snack time? Is it snack time? I wonder whether Freddie would like a snack. <laughs> you can see him, can't you? <laughs> Nettie says good morning. <laughs> hmm. We did a swap a long time ago. Irene, we did a swap a long time ago. And 
this was what you sent me, isn't it? I have it here. And I made a video. I popped your name on the video, didn't I? And um, I made a little, I used to call them, what did I used to call them? Little boho, no, not boho. Folk, folk art birds. And we did the slow stitch birds, didn't we? That was inspired by you, Irene. <laughs> ah, pop down the email and, and, um, it just keeps sending me a message, um, Irene. That'd be lovely. Absolutely lovely. <laughs> we met in Crafting Mama's group, I do believe. So I, I take it now that you've got my address. So there's Kerr. Good morning, Kerr. So nice to see you. I'm just trying to find my email address just to take it out because it's not even easy um, afterwards. Did you, did you manage to get that down? If you... If you didn't, shout out, speak out. Just to say, her wasn't here last week. Just to say, you trawling through. Let me just. Freddie's very patiently waiting for his snack. While you're here, Kerr, because I know that you've got busy times, busy times at the moment. Just looking for my tissue. There's my tissue. <laughs> Let me just read you what what um, Rondell was up to last week. Now she had reached and was overlooking St. Peter's Square. And because she had slowed down and spent time watching people watching she she's very i don't know inspired and she started to write because writing is her thing and she was able to in her imagination go back in time and she was able to go forward in time a hundred years in her imagination thinking what will this square be like will the people be dressed the same and she, in her mind's eye, she saw this little girl with her dad in St. Peter's Square with a little red hat. And the, a familiar sight to her, the pigeons were landing on the little girl's head, just like they did when she was looking out in 1890. <laughs> so that's what that's what I shared last week, Kerr, but um you weren't able to be with us. So I thought I'd just share that again for um while you were here. <laughs> I did the shortened version. <laughs> Let's get a snack, shall we? Is it is it snack time, Freddie? Yes, he says. Let's do your snack first. Do you, are you getting down for the snack or do I come over to you? I think that tells me I go over to him. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, look. What have I done? I crumbled it all over the floor. Don't worry. You'll hoon that up for me, won't you? There you go. Do you want another one? can have one at the end as well. We've started a new thing, haven't we? Nice. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Worth waiting for. Worth the wait. <laughs> I made him wait, didn't I? <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know. What have I got here? Now, is our Janet USA still in the chat? She might not be. Yes, you can move her up down there. Look at that. You can see the muddy towels on the floor from when he comes inside, can't you? Absolutely ridiculous. Look, he's having, he's hoovering up for me. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I don't know. Right, so what am I doing? I've got my tea here. So, yes, it's time to... Get yourself a nice little snack. <laughs> um, 
and me. So nice to see you. Good morning. You're eating your yogurt and banana. Oh, how lovely. So lovely to see you. Oh, come on in. Let's spend a little bit of peaceful time with us. Oh, really lovely to see you. Hmm. So nice. Hmm. There you go. Pour out my tea. I saw that I've got a chocolate brownie I made on Saturday evening, a nice weekend treat. And I noticed that Janet USA had made some rather, rather spectacular brownie. Wonderful brownie with some lovely bits and pieces in it as well. There we are. It was. And Kerr says, now, because you told me that in comments, sorry, I rushed through the story then. It was a true story from Kerr. She shared with me, you were four years old and the pigeons did land on your hat as you fed them. And you, ah, oh, <laughs> took you back to there. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. You with your dad in St. Peter's Square. Isn't that lovely? And it's St. Peter's Square. That's the amazing thing. The architecture doesn't change. When Blondell was imagining it when it was first created. And then in 1890, and then you, when you were four with your little hat. Can you believe that? That's a little cur there. I didn't say because I, I didn't want to say just in case. So now you've told everybody I can, I'm going to write that in that journal. So if anybody else has stories to share <laughs> and wants to be part of that, <laughs> there you are, Kerr. And that, that's young. That's quite a memory, isn't it, to have. <laughs> it's, we have, um, and I'm sure those pigeons are still there now. <laughs> you spill the beans, I know, it's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And that's the thing about our imaginations, isn't it? I thought, I don't, I don't think that would be lost on Kerr because Kerr's, Kerr um, does writing as well, don't you? Mm. Oh, you've got people in there working on the furnace. Oh, it's so it's hard to hear. Oh, oh, Kathy, are, are you are you in charge of making cups of teas and coffees for everybody? Look, there's Freddie down there. Now, <laughs> I'll get get him up in his chair in a minute. Mm. Mm. Oh, Penny went to an art show this weekend, and the lady was selling her handmade journals. Oh, and you supported her and purchased a lavender themed journal. Oh, how lovely, Penny. Yes, it's lovely to support our, our artists, isn't it? Our, our creative um, community. Mm, mm. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh, it makes you think of the birds in home and the bird lady in home and away. Or, or I thought you were going to say, Cat, there's the feed the birds, top and so bag. If you went to Trafalgar Square in London, you would see those pigeons there. Did I, did I spill any more? Goodness sake. Also, I've got brownie today. Mm. And I didn't have a square tin. Mm. My square tin. Mm. 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 I should talk with my mouth full. Um, it got squashed. The story of my my tin was I was coming out of this is a good few years ago and so I've got a, a round eight inch not the square one you know when you've got a lot I, I was coming out of my craft get together this was a good few years ago before my head injury so it's coming out with all my bags and I'd take a lemon cake and there was a slice left but oh, take a slice slice back for Ben and I was and I I put it on top of the car. So you know what's coming next, don't you? I piled people in the car, art supplies in the car, drove off. My 
and the it, it just flew across the road and uh, okay so it didn't cause any accidents so that that's a blessing so it, it flew onto the road unfortunately and then and I got out stopped the car safely got out thought I can retrieve it and wash the tin and then it's big lorry swooshed past and flattened it <laughs> Oh, I didn't go into the road to retrieve it because that would have made some art, wouldn't it? <laughs> you have doves and lots of love birds on your fences. How romantic, Kimberly. That's a picture. That's a picture for a journal, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Me too, Candy. Very relaxing. Very relaxing. Oh, I'm going to put this cake over there and as soon as the sticks I don't want to talk with my mouth full as soon as the stream finishes I'll be I know cat these things happen I've done the same with an umbrella before as well has anybody else done that or is that just me I don't know I'm like <laughs> oh dear I don't know yes yeah, as, as, as soon as the stream finishes I make another cup of tea I'm like, <laughs> okay. Hi, Pam. Good to see you. Oh, my robin tray. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? I love robins. It's a Christmas tray. Um, well spotted. And my robin cup as well. <laughs> oh, they look a little bit more like bullfinches, actually. Um, you can see the lighting reflected. Yes, I use it all year round because. We have robins in the garden, not just at Christmas. <laughs> Cheryl, I've given them um, a cup of a cup of coffee and then a nice little biscuit. I mean, a doggy biscuit to <laughs> to Freddie, just from you. Mm. Oh, oh, Barbara. What was that? Is that a story or am I not getting the joke? No school today, teacher work day. Am I not getting it? I don't get, oh, but you know, oh, the police asked what I was doing and they told them. They were their police reports. No, so it's not just me, the policeman. I'd left their police reports on the top of the car. You saved the day. I can't believe they haven't scattered all over the place. Oh, I'm in good company then. Now all the stories are coming out now. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. What else have I got to share with you? Oh, I've got my I've got my green collage from Aunt Bex there, ready to do in my book. I've collected all the bits, had a gorgeous afternoon with my ransom letter box. <laughs> I love doing those. And cutting out for my green collage. That's on Aunt Bex's channel. What oh last week's? Let me show you last week's. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can find it. There we are. Last week we were doing the Thrive, weren't we? And I had in the comments, it, lovely Maria Kay from Australia shared, she made a little poem up to go with the last week's prompts. Let me read it to you. Gail's saying something as well. You don't, Pam says, who's into mechanics, she doesn't usually set things on the top of her vehicle. Yes, Pam, very wise, yes. And Gail doesn't either, just in case they dent. Maybe I've never done it since. Mm. <laughs> your uncle nearly drove to work with your, with your cat, your cat on his on the top of his roof, um, on the top. Oh my goodness, cat on a hot tin car roof. Gosh, 
There's a musical there somewhere. Goodness. Hmm. Oh, on the other hand, it's because Pam can't reach the top. Oh, because your vehicles are so big, aren't they, in the States? <laughs> hmm. True, true. Let me read you what um from last week's prompts thrive. Oh, Maria made up a little poem. Let me read it to you. I've just I've put it on a little little tag here. I love making all these just with tape and bits and pieces. I know a cat who wears a boho hat with silver hearts all doodled in white. I have to admit, he looks ever so handsome in the moonlight with his thriving coat of thick black fur, which I hasten to add, made his furry companions constantly purr. Perhaps one day, I hope you too will meet the handsome cat in the boho hat. <laughs> Wasn't it wonderful? One of our prompts was hats and we had boho and pride. It's wonderful, wonderful. And there's my little, there's my, I finished it off when I, when I, with my cup of tea and cake, I popped the phone down. And I did my, I was on Rebecca. Rebecca's not here today. Sending love to Rebecca because she has an appointment. Mm. So I do my little cat with her cat prompts. And I made like a little pocket in the back by just sticking magazine to this page behind. And I'm going to put this bookmark with these lovely comments from the stream I'm just gonna pop those in there like that and they stick up now they stick up because it's probably not quite long enough did I want it to stick up that much probably not that much but it's fine it's fine <laughs> oh, no, I'm missing one of your fondest memories there I'm going to go back I'm going to go back. <laughs> oh, so Sophia, you left your mobile phone on top of the car, drove around several roundabouts, etc. Amazing, it was still there. Oh, my goodness, yes. Oh, Sophia. And you're so busy with the boys as well. And Oh, I know. That was amazing that it was still there. Hmm. So, oh, someone rolled down the window and actually told him the cat was on the roof. Oh, it actually started to drive away. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> oh, dear. Roundabouts. Now, when we say roundabouts, that's um, that's a British thing, isn't it? Yes. I, oh, driving to pick Ben up at Heathrow and then because it was so busy, it veered the M25 which is our motorway and I'm thinking oh I would never recommend anybody from another country to hire a car and drive out of Heathrow oh, the roundabouts oh my goodness you would struggle oh you have them now do you the roundabouts oh right oh okay <laughs> oh artsy nurse hi come on in come on in Come and rest a while. Yes. Oh, nice to see you. Mm. Yeah, are they, yeah, that's it, girl. Saying they're starting to put them in. But I never. Hmm. Mm. We just have them all over the place. <laughs> Especially when you go on the smaller roads. When you use like ways to try and find yourself. Right, let's let's get some prompts, shall we? I was thinking I love doing the prompts. I really do. Where have I got a page? How have I got a page that I've just sewed already? It's all my green things. I thought I might do my green page for my process video tomorrow. But some I'm led by what people say because sometimes people say, I want to know how you do this or that. And Gail says, I do 
not like roundabouts. Or, yes, I think it must be, we're brought up with them. So I'm just going to give them a shuffle. I'm not looking, honestly. Look at the Freddy out the window. We had fireworks yesterday. Because the fireworks are getting sold for the bonfire night on 5th of November. And yeah, he gets so scared. And then we have thunder. Poor Freddy. I know. Oh, Kerr, yes. Oh, you're painting your fireplace. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, how lovely. I'm full of questions. You're getting ready for a cosy, cold winter. Are you painting it? as in aesthetically or to insulate it with a special paint or is it the surround full of questions you go you take care so glad that you could pop in and that people now know the little girl with the red hat is yours mm. <laughs> oh Yes, well, that's quite the debate, isn't it? The roundabout debate. Let's pick six. Let's pick six. Some prompts. One. I'm not looking, honestly. Two, three, four. It's very, very old and it smells funky. Painting it with, with tinted something odour blocker. Okay. So a practical job, well done, Carl. And you, oh, I can imagine you. That's brilliant. You'll be able to light that fire, Will you, a log burner maybe, or a fire and be really cosy. Mm. Was, yeah, I, yes, yeah. Candy, I don't, didn't think that, um, oh yeah, that bad, oh dear. He was, at one point, he went up into the bathroom to get away from it on his own. One, two, I said, oh, I've got six. Yes, because I went into this kitchen because he was snuggled up with me in the lounge and then I just got all confused. I know. Hmm. Oh, there you go. You've got a tip because you, you're in an older house. You might need that. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Hi, Shannon. So nice to see you. Come on in, Shannon. I'll read some prompts out. The prompts are literally just a way for us to be together. And I, yes, take the prompts and do some, use them, do some, or do something completely different. Say, I'm not doing that prompt. I want to do this. I know our poor puppies. Oh, bless them. I know. We feel for them, don't we? I know. Right. What's the first one? Ooh, make your own texture paste. Wow. Oh, I wrote that down because lovely, lovely Barbara sent me a recipe for it and I wrote it down but I don't know where it is so I'm gonna make it up as I go along. You can use your texture paste you've got or make texture paste. Do whatever but the reason I say make your own is because I want to use some of the little tea bags I've got here. So let's make, oh, I've got this little ramekin dish here. Now you might be able to come in with a recipe or your favorite way of making it. Ooh. But I'm, oh, I'm gonna put my apron on Pam. Remind me. Oh, today's fashion. Take care, biker. Take care. Take care. Happy painting. Today's fashion show. Let me show you. Isn't this a gorgeous piece of fabric? 
let me pop it around like that. Am I wearing, probably I'm not wearing it. It's, look, isn't it gorgeous? It's batik. And I presume this is a stencil. It does go all the way through. But I'm presuming the giraffe isn't batik as well. But the purple background. <laughs> so this was from Ben. Isn't it gorgeous? And I, you can imagine. This is how they would be carrying their babies on their back or their front, isn't it, in one of these? Isn't, that, isn't it gorgeous? And I've had it on the back of the settee as well. Isn't it colourful? I'm going to put it, now I'm using paint, I'm going to put it all the way over there. So that was lovely from Ben. I know from Ben from all the way from Kenya. That was so lovely of him. <laughs> Ah, oh, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful, Pat? I know, I know. <laughs> well, thanks, Abigail. Thank you, Abigail. And I, did anybody see, let me see, talking about that beautiful fabric, did anybody see Mary, as in the Mary Atelier? Oh, apron. That's why I stood up, isn't it, Shannon? I know, I know. <laughs> Dear. Amy M, thank you. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the chat, Amy. So nice to see you. <laughs> Amy M, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'm, I'm being a good girl. I'm putting my apron on. Yes, Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl, if you dash off and I don't get to see you, I do hope the dentist goes okay today. Oh, Amy. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, it's glue and baking soda. Well, I'm going to do my own thing. Yeah, the baking soda would fluff up. Oh, I'm going to do my own thing, Barbara, but I, I have got that recipe written down. Make your own texture paste. Um, you will be able to look it up. It was from somebody's no pressure if you can't remember Barbara dear it was from someone's stream wasn't it thanks Leslie isn't it absolutely gorgeous there's Leslie from just down the road oh that reminds me while I while Leslie's there um let me just show you my crochet this week it's like I'm a little red riding hood with this, isn't it? I just want to get glue on it. This is my Christmas crochet blanket and bag a day crochet. She did a pebble stitch, but I thought, where's I don't even know where the camera is. There, I'm trying not to get it on. It's a one stitch repeat, and I thought these look like little Christmas trees, they're little bees. On my on my Christmas blanket it goes up like that in a V. It's the same both sides. Can you see this one sticks up like a V and then it comes over? So I thought it's like a little. This stitch can be like a little forest of Christmas trees. Abs, that was bag a day crochet. She called it pebble stitch, but I'm calling it Christmas tree stitch. <laughs> Because Leslie and I were looking up some other, we can, I, I'm thinking the next one I'm going to do will be Ponsettia squares to sew on there. But, um, <laughs> ah, there we are. Oh, right. Yes, Chair, I do hope it goes well. So I'm going to put some, what am I going to put in here? Just going to make a little bit. Or should I put some more? I'm making my own texture paste. I'm going to put this in for colour. Some bronze. Lovely. And then I'm going to snip some of these tea leaves in there and it will really give it texture. Thanks, Emmy. I, it was lovely. Oh, thank you, Kat. It was lovely. She does have some lovely pack band, and that's the one that came up. Was it Saturday, Friday, or Saturday? There's a link in my um, 
one of my playlists because I, I need to link it for myself. Yes. So I, hmm. Ew, lovely. So really is the texture here. I cut the texture of my tea leaves. Looks a little bit, it, in the, it looks a little bit primitive like a mud hut. Um, it probably might have been better with um blue. Do you think if I come in with blue now? Oh, it really looks yuck. Let me come in with blue and see if I can see if I can help this along any. Oh no, I don't oh no. It's always lovely to experiment. Let me put some more blue in. And if you don't like it, you don't, I, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get um, something to go through here. I'm putting mine on um, texture, texture paste on daily paper because it's going to take ages to dry and I'll add it later. Ooh, wow. This really is texture paste. I'm going to go with it because it might, it might come out. Just never know. Now, this is what you call tecla. Wow. Wow. I wouldn't have put the bronze in because I thought that took a rather unfortunate turn. Let's, I'm going to spray it with some more of this blue. I'm ex Oh, Patty, have a nice day. Oh, you're heading off to work. Take care, Patty. See, I hope to hear from you. Yes, yeah, no pressure though. I'm going to cover it in blue and then we'll, that will take ages to dry. And we'll let that dry. Let's take this off. Do I have yellow? Oh, oh, and then that will make it more green. I think the yellow will work better. Wow. See, this is what playing is all about. Oh, it's not too bad in the... Right, wonderful. Oh, let's just, before I do this, just put that there. Just see what comes up there. Oh, it didn't come in the circles. That is fine. Yellow. Janet says yellow. Right, let's get some yellow. I have got yellow ink. Let me let me um oh I love the um I love the circles that the I love the inky circles just there. You just don't know. <laughs> I know. You just don't know what's going to happen until. It's quite dark, the yellow. Hmm. Well, I shall be playing with this and adding it later. And I can always cover it in white gesso, can't I? There, there we are. I'll let that dry. That will take ages and I will have that. So make your own texture paste. You can look up a recipe. <laughs> I know, Barbara. That's why I thought it took, it took an unfortunate turn. I will cover it with gold paint maybe. And, um, mm. <laughs> This is exactly what today's quote is about. Yes. <laughs> oh, trying things. And yes. And from our one from don't to be creative life, we must lose a fear of being wrong. Absolutely. I know. I thought, I thought they took such an unfortunate turn like that. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm just going to find some bronze. 
and see if I'm putting bronze on the on there. Having this, you just, if you experiment, you just never know, do you? <laughs> Oh dear. Mm. Oh, I mean, no, that's really hard, isn't it? I'm going to go in with bronze. Do you think bronze? Oh no, because that does take away the texture. Oh wow. Oh, oh wow. Now, if I'd have come in with this straight. Whoa. If I'd have come in like that straight away. Sorry, this isn't getting many prompts done, is it? You'll have to chivy me on in a minute. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Every little thing is going to be okay, Susan. Yes, that's it. Yeah, yeah, just experiment. We're among friends. Look. Nobody's going to see, nobody's going to know. I'm going to scrape that off there. I'm still loving these circles. I'm going to keep, keep that. I'm going to keep that on there. I'm going to come in now with some. This isn't everybody's cup of tea. I do apologise. Um, if you don't, yes. You can wear gloves um, as well. Let's see if I can rescue it with some bronze. Ooh. I used to have gold texture paste. And I used to make hearts, gold hearts. Oh, my goodness. Gorgeous. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Ah, it's only paper and paint and glue. Absolutely, Kat. Yeah, yes, yes. Because we would never know if we didn't experiment, would we? This will make a lovely background. When it dries, it may become the background of the whole piece, the whole shenanigans going on here. I'm loving the green and the blue together, though, quite right. Oh, lovely. Oh, no, that that is nice now. Let, we'll have them. Um, we'll see. Let's have a look. Is this. I did like the hearts when I don't know where the heart template is. These days I am so slow that I am. Um, end up having to read, the, read them out, but I don't mind. These little hearts are gorgeous. This is just made on them. Um, oh, yes. Let's see. Let's see if it's less cow patsy. I didn't like to say, Barbara. <laughs> but that was my immediate thought. That was my panic when I see, oh, my goodness, what have I done? <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, your mother loved that phrase, did she? I think that's an Irish phrase, isn't it? Shenanigans. Oh, lovely. Oh. See, now, what isn't that Mary from the Mary Artier? Doesn't she say gold fixes everything? In this case, I think it was bronze because I've lost the... Whew. Let's have a look. Lovely. Let's have a look. I think by doing that as well, I'm going to come in. Oh, yes, lovely. Now, now what do you think? More shiny. It's got that gold feel to it, and it's got the gold around the edges. Is that better? <laughs> Yes, it's only for fun. Definitely. This goes to prove that the prompts are not serious. It's just for fun. Do you know, I was thinking today, I think one of the reasons I love the prompts so much, I think I like the sponsor. Oh, my goodness. I am really literally making a mess now. Literally making a mess. 
walk away, walk away from the texture paste, Janet. And yes, let me just wipe my hands. I like the I like the teamwork aspect of it, that we it's something we're doing together. And oh, I just can't resist this, sorry. And so this won't be dry at all now. This page to work on. Yeah, that, that we're here together and the spontaneity when I remember when I was working, I have to think on your feet. I quite like the thinking on my feet, but you can take your time on you. Well, my word. <laughs> Pam, yes, shenanigans. <laughs> Cow battery, I know. <laughs> There, so I've got gold. It, don't worry, it, it, it is goldy bronzy. It's not as yucky as it looks on the camera. <laughs> and I've got my gold hearts that are going to take an, a, a, an absolute age to dry, aren't they? Ah, definitely better gold. Thank you. <laughs> right, what else have we got? Let's have a let's have a lovely simple prompt, shall we? Or maybe I may uh, use your own texture paste if you like, or just do your own thing. Yeah. <laughs> Sophia's come back, and she we are discussing. I I well I I I produced something um that looked a little bit like cow pats. <laughs> I was far too polite to say, but Barbara wasn't. <laughs> well done, Barbara. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, they're made of tea. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know. What do we like? Right. What does this say? Oh, I love this. Collage with scraps on your table. I love that. Collage with scraps on your table. And I'll probably have to, oh, what have I got on my table? I've got so many lovely things on my table. <laughs> what should I do? I wonder whether I can use some of my hexagons. Yes, let's do that. I'm going to come down. I'm going to make some washi with the hexagons. I might have to cut some more later, but these are on my desk. Ooh, these aren't scraps, but my lovely mug is on my desk. Oh, lovely. Oh, and of course, I've got a little pot of autumn things, and oh my goodness. The sky is the limit. <laughs> oh, she, yes, she saw me knitting the, pumpkins Becky and when I was knitting these she said oh they'd make they'd make a nice hat you know what she's like Becky here we are I'm going to come down here with hexagons oh, I'm going to put some of these on here I'm going to make some hexagon tape because that's what I've got on my desk Oh, lovely, that will make a lovely border. Go lovely with the cow pats. <laughs> oh dear. You, you're tired of the clearing up after the dog. Oh, I know. It must get you down. Yeah, definitely. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I haven't had an older doggy. I've just had Freddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Come in with my hexagons. What's on your desk? <laughs> oh. oh, lovely. Oh, that's taking it all up. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, let's come in with some lovely words on there. <laughs> there. I guess that's going to get a bit. Let's come up with some nice words. 
Yeah, our theme was today, our mission in life is not merely to survive, but it is to thrive. And we had a good poem, didn't we? Let me read that out again, just in case you've just come. That it, it said, my mission in life is not to merely survive, but to thrive, to do so with some passion, some compa some passion, some compassion, some humour and some style. And that was by Maya Angelou. And that was lovely. That was shared by our lovely Sylvia. I'm going to put some words. I've got my lovely word team here. And I just, I was, oh, yesterday, cutting out of magazines. The city, oh, the lounge. Wow, bits of paper everywhere. I need to put wonderful on there. What does this say? Oh, garden. Oh, how lovely. It will, maybe this page will become a wonderful garden. <laughs> hmm, joy. So scraps from the desk. Shall I read another prompt? We, re we are going to run out of time, as we always do. Just go so quickly. Oh, celebrations. Celebrations. Now, if you're in the UK, that doesn't mean to say you're going to nip down to the corner shop and get a box of celebrations just so you can use the sweet papers. Or maybe it does. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Thank you, Cat, <Kathy. laughs> Oh, yes, I love sitting here and doing, oh, a window. That's for something else. Do you know, I don't know whether I'd use that large tea bag. But it's nice to, for me to experiment for you because you're, you're right. It does have like a little look to it. Um, but, it, yeah, I wanted to experiment. I got positive joy wonderful garden dream lovely and brilliant <laughs> it's a very positive thing to harvest words from a magazine it focuses you on the positive things in life <laughs> hmm. Susan says, Maya was your poet laureate, unofficially, but truly. Susan, I hadn't heard of her. Janice was saying, and I ringed it there. I need to highlight that, and I'm going to look her up because I hadn't heard of her before. Sylvia shared this. So let me just highlight it more so I don't... Mm. Oh, Sophia says, one of your favourite quotes is Cummings. Unbeing dead is not being alive. Seems apt for your theme today too, Janet. Yes, yes, yes. It really does. It really does. I know. I hadn't. No, not something. No. No, I haven't. Obviously, something we weren't, we didn't do at school, or the boy didn't do at school. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I know, Janice. That three was celebration. I'm going to read them out now because. Uh, we are going to be coming to the end and it's time for you to pop numbers in and we'll just for a little door prize, a little goodbye prize from Freddie and myself, just a little tiny happy mail envelope. So pop some numbers in. Thank you, Becky, for yourself and for other people. Those of our generations did not get much exposure to American writers at school. Oh, we did have to kill a mockingbird, though, in our GCSEs and the... My boys use my copy for
for when they did their exams too, but not a lot. No, not a lot of exposure. Hmm. Let me read another prompt out to you. Oh, I like this one. Design your own t-shirt top or jumper. Design your own jumper. <laughs> Thank you, Janet, for putting in that. Put some in for yourself and some for other people. And yes, yeah. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Barbara, putting one in for Jen. That's lovely. Mm. Wow, Candy. Seriously, I have that to look forward to. Yes. Jean, don't worry. This is the mug of the day. The rest has been art and talking about cow pat poo. And that's it. I've caught you up on what's happened. That's fine. <laughs> come on in. Come on in. I'm so glad you popped up, pop your head over the fence to say hi, Jean. So nice to see you. Mm. You had that. Oh, and that mice and men. Oh, yes. I've seen the play at the National as well of mice and men. So we did have some classics, yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah, that's true. But Sophia, you'd heard of her. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we talked about um cinnamon toast and cow pats. You, yeah, yeah, that's it. It's fine. <laughs> So, yeah, design your own T-shirt, top or sweater. That would be a nice one to put on our page with all this lovely texture. And that was prompt one, two, three, four. And prompt five, my glasses on. Mm. I can't read my writing. Oh, this is from Alison. Oh, paint on envelope. Oh, paint on envelopes. Oh, you, yes, she meant you get the whole pile of the, oh, lovely. I've got that. Oh, and that's what Alison did. I'll leave a link for that in the description from AJ Inspired Life. She painted on, you know, the lovely bill envelopes you get. What do you call those? And you can use acrylic paint. I think she was using watercolour paint so it shows through. You'll, yeah, lovely. Paint on envelopes, yes. You'll tell me what envelopes those are in a minute. And print with an, with an object to hand. Print with an object that comes to hand. So say with your washi tape or, or oh, I could with the key or something like that, or the top of a jar. So that's our, that's, that's our prompts today. You'll leave me doing, doing this. <laughs> oh dear. Please see Candy, Candy. Faith Ringhop, thank you. Faith. Faith Ringhold. I shall put this all as I later, as in the description box, so other people can find these too. Thank you for sharing that. Mm. <laughs> Jean Jean, Queen of the Chicago Jelly Bean. <laughs> oh dear, that is funny. You're a poet and you don't even know it, she, um, Susan. Oh dear. Right, let's generate a number between one and a hundred. Generate a number and it's number 67. Wow, there we are. It, it was quite genteel to start with, just with a little bit of slow stitching and then wow. <laughs> oh dear. Are you able to see who was on or nearest under? Mm. 
thanks for sharing that. That's kind of you. Well, yes, it's probably time for me to say goodbye and you'll leave me with my lovely <laughs> page in full prose, in full carol. Oh, lovely. I shall send Carol some happy mail. How lovely. <laughs> I will send Carol some happy mail. Let's make sure that's up the right way. Can put that on already. Let's do it so they're coming over the edge. I do love things to be over the edge. Lovely. I'm, I'm quite into having borders on things at the moment. I should be able to colour those the other side. Wow, it's probably time for me to say, I will see you in, this leaves a nice tuck spot as well. I'll put the prompts in my description box. Description? And, there, and in, on my community tab, if that's helpful to people. And I will sort this crazy mess up. Remember, things have to get more messy. <laughs> oh, dear. Have a good week. Have a good week. And remember um, that to be, to be a, have a creative life, we must lose the fear of being wrong. <laughs> take good care everyone it has been a great stream it's just so lovely so lovely oh becky and thank you for sharing your lovely inktober with us this morning i'm going to share a link to your channel because there's so many things on there yes yes thank you thank you for your time everybody spent with us and thank you for starting your week with me mm. ah there we are take care everyone bye joni bye shannon and, and marilyn take care cat have a happy creative monday everybody take care janet more knitting i presume bye leslie see you see you tomorrow leslie <laughs> in the park mm. bye darling bye darling Neff. bye irene be lovely to make contact again yes it's lovely <laughs> take care mm. cats wishing us all a creative a creative week take care sue i hope you enjoy doing those uh, acorns mm. bye amy m i'm so glad you could join us mm. There's Penny. Penny, I hope the clear up down there in Florida is going okay. Mm. Take care, Sophia. Take care. Bye. Hope you get some time. I know you're busy to be creative. Goodbye, replayers. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been it's been lovely. And to all the people that are gently listening and that have been gently listening in the background, take good care. <laughs> yeah bye susan bye susan night night karen sleep well sleep tight yeah wake up for a new day tomorrow yeah mm. oh okay you've got carol's just messaging me somebody that does wonderful hexagon um projects i will link i'll put that in the description thank you carol you were trying to let me know where you, mm. you you sent me a link. I will put that in. Um, yeah, I will put it in the description box because I'm not very good at using the computer. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Take care, Ruth. Take care. Look forward to seeing your hexi basket, your basket of hexagons. If you manage to get that out this week, no pressure though. Bye, Tammy. Take care. And Mar Mariah. Take care. Take care, lovely worldwide community. <laughs> Bye, Jean. Glad to see you. <laughs> night, night, Pam. Sleep tight. Sleep tight. Have a good rest. Mm. <laughs> and I hope you don't make as much mess with texture paste as I did. 
<laughs> oh. Right. I better put the phone down then. <laughs> Bye, Anne. Bye, Anne. So glad that you could come along. <laughs> let me let me put the phone down. Bye from Freddie and Flo. <laughs> Take care, everyone. <laughs>